Hi, everybody. It's Jen Ferguson here with Artistic Painting Studio. And I feel like i got to move my camera over a little bit. There we go. I think that's just a little bit better. So um, we had a wonderful time last night. Time got completely uh, away from me. And I had no idea that um, we've been on here for like an uh, hour and a half or so. So that was really cool. And I'm just trying to see. Okay, here we go. Now I can... Now I can see um, the screen a little bit better. It was like in a weird position. So do me a favor. Do me a big, big favor. Say hello as you come on and join. And um, we are just going to have some super, super fun. Okay, I'm just really, okay, I'm working off a different camera today. So it's just like an awkward spot. I'm not used to working on this one. Um, but I hope that you guys had fun last night. We did a lot. I mean, I, I guess I just had uh, kind of anticipate it that I could get through so much and I didn't, but we got a lot done and there's more to do. So we're going to finish up some of these projects. Okay. We've got our gorgeous chargers that are foiled and ready for their next layer of adornment or embellishment. However you want to say that, um, this one was done in cobalt blue. And then we got the fabulous, absolutely fabulous pearl white okay so um you, if you haven't checked this one out yet you've got to and these look so pretty together i mean look how awesome that is and they're beautiful they're shiny uh, they just got such a good reflection to them they both have two coats a final coat on them so i put i think i got a coat on last night and um there's another coat that went on today um, that way I want to make sure that they had several coats. Um, and if you guys are new um, around here, we'll talk about some of the details as we get going. But I got to take a minute. I got to take a minute. I got to get my laptop out and say hi to everybody. And Teresa, oh my gosh, I love my happy mail. Oh, you, you know me well and you knew what I needed. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys in a minute what showed up here. And it was something I super, super needed. So we are, we're going to be styling tonight. And guess I got some plans for this little um, gift as well. So Teresa, welcome and thank you. Kimberly, it's so great to see you here. Barb, Maddie, Desiree, Jennifer, another Jennifer's in the house, okay? I didn't realize how popular my name was until I started seeing so many more Jennifer's, okay? There just seems like there's tons and tons of Jennifer's now. Okay, I'm going to turn this camera the other way and see if that even works better. Ooh, I think I like that. Um, and as you guys can see, oh, behind me, Foil Club, okay, it's always reminding you, you got to join, okay? It's an awesome group, and you want to be part of it. Eduardo, we haven't seen you on here in a while. And if anybody is saying hi and chiming in and you're coming up Facebook user... Just go to the top of the description of the video and there's a little link that StreamYard will say, please just click on here so we uh, give StreamYard permission to use your name so we know who you are and you won't be this mysterious person, okay? Hi, Nancy. Thanks for joining. Okay, so I'm going to be bouncing between our StreamYard, okay, and... Um, as well as my Facebook page so I can see comments on both. Um, and I appreciate all of you being here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We love it when you guys are able to join us and come out and hang out. Um, and oh my gosh, Desiree says, okay, you got me doing four more hats. That is super awesome, Desiree. I am so glad. And I'm gonna be doing more hats now because I have a better surface to do my hats on. So with no further delay, look what showed up. We're going to have to name her, okay? Um, I think she deserves a name. She definitely deserves some foils. So we're going to have to break out our foils and foil this as well. But I'm not going to foil it tonight um, because I'm going to use it. Uh, yeah, we're going to use it. Look at this. We have a head for our hats. So now I can work on these so much easier, okay? Um, the bills will still be fine as they were just laying on the table, okay, and working on them, but the tops, 
of the hats are going to be so much easier to do now. Um, so we might break out a couple of these. This is going to be my patriotic one. I might as well just leave it on the head. So Teresa, thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, I can't say, oops, the bill was a little heavy. Okay, my mother turned her hat on backwards. <laughs> we might have to weigh her down too. Um, I'll have to think about that. I might have to put her on some kind of a base so she's got weight and substance. Um, kind of like my um, stand for my camera is super heavy at the bottom. It weighs about at least five or 10 pounds. So that way I can put it anywhere and it is sturdy, sturdy. Okay. Which is really cool because we want our, we want our camera as sturdy as possible. So it's not uh, flying off and going somewhere. Yes, definitely name it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We might have to have a little contest. Oh, Teresa, thank you for the stars as well. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, we might have to little have a little contest on, um, on naming her okay and I think we also found out the winner of the new stars uh, foil uh, I think we got a winner name on that one as well and um, we'll be posting that soon I think my staff was a little behind okay so Nancy's got a great question she says just curious uh, to know if most people following are doing projects for personal or for self. Nancy, I think that's a, uh, a great question, but I want to say I think the answer is both. I know that we have um, a lot of people on here that are business people, and I hope I'm inspiring them to create new projects to sell. I know I was speaking to somebody the other night, and she was asking me about, like, if I sold my caps, how much am I planning on the selling them for? Um, I'm not one who sells a lot of her projects. So putting a price on it on them is, they're more for family and friends and probably for donations than they are going to be for sell. But I would say if you turn around and sold the caps for anywhere from, depending on how much time and effort you put into them, but a minimum of probably 20 bucks up to maybe 35, depending on are you blinging them out? Are you putting crystals on them? Are you just foiling them? Did you put a stencil on them? Did you final coat before and after? I mean, I think there's so much that will have to go into the determining that cost factor. Um, that's why I'm probably giving away or donating most of mine. <laughs> but there is a, we have such a huge, huge following, Nancy. And I know some people are just doing it for their own personal pleasure, just so that we can craft and enjoy ourselves and just dive into something creative. And then I know a lot of people are following me because they are looking for inspiration to make more projects and really cool stuff so they can sell it. And there's not a damn thing wrong with that, okay? We all have to make a living somehow, some way. Uh, some of us make a living completely in the arts, and I do. Um, and that is thanks to many, many of you. And some people just have a little side hustle that they are doing to make a little money on the side. And hopefully someday I think they plan to transition um, into their full-time taking their high, their side hustle full time. Okay. And some people are just dabbling and just, I mean, there's, there's every single level that is possible and we love to be part of their journey, no matter what it is. Um, so anything we can answer, um, and help you with Nancy, just holler out. Um, that's how we get to know everybody on here. And I think, um, it would be great to even ask whoever is, uh, joining us this evening, if you will just indicate in the comments that you're either doing it as a side hustle, um, you're doing it for friends and family, you're donating, um, whatever it is, um, or it's your full-time job and you're looking for inspiration, we'd love to know, okay? The more we get to know you and know what you do, the more better information I can provide also um, as far as inspiration, teaching, guiding, um, all of that. Uh, let's see, Nancy, oh, say it's business for you. So that is awesome. Uh, let's see, Kimberly is saying, my son is graduating high school and I definitely think I'll make some chargers to decorate the table. Oh, that is wonderful. And it's such a great, easy, inexpensive project, okay? Um, oh gosh, you can just do a great theme with those. Those will be wonderful. Um, Kimberly says she watches for ideas and inspiration for the things I'd want to do for myself, friends, and gifts. 
Aw, Teresa says, I give it away. <laughs> Desiree's all personal, okay? Um, yeah, I think everybody's just at a different level. Everybody's on a different journey, and that is perfectly okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reposition my camera here so that you can see my wonderful table, okay? And we are going to get working, okay? I meant to start working the minute I started talking, and oh my gosh, did I just start talking. But you guys always do me a great favor and you engage the more you engage the more that we can chit chat and get to know each other and like i said i can discover more of your needs and also be there to serve your needs um, so that is really super cool diana says she does craft fairs and sells online occasionally wonderful so look at all this um, so yeah continue to tell me what you guys are doing and then also i'm so pleased to let you know that we are going to have um, another winner from last night's uh, live video, okay? We had enough shares that we are definitely doing our giveaway. And the giveaway is the complete collection of the May Foil Club, okay? So some lucky winner. And uh, like I said, the team is behind, so they did not have a chance to do the virtual hat. But um, we will make sure that everybody that watched the video yesterday and shared the video and came back and let us know that they shared the video will be put into that virtual hat so that we'll be able to announce that winner tomorrow, okay? And uh, the night before, which was the 18th, our winner was Mia Shabby Chic Chalk Paint School. And we haven't seen her on here since then. I got to go back and contact her. But I have been splitting my day um and thank goodness i live so close to my studio okay it's, it's really is a blessing um i am now within like less than two to three minutes from my house so i have been starting at five o'clock in the morning yes i'm an early riser uh and getting stuff done on the computer and answering email and uh, Facebook questions and responding to people on post and making posts and doing all that kind of fun stuff at the wee hours of the morning. And then um, hitting our project at home, which is uh, working on a wall uh, installation where I actually installed one of my finishes and my entryway for a video um, that is going to be part of a uh, workshop coming up in June. And I worked at home, I think, till 10, came to the studio and worked till 2, I think. And then I just got back at like 4.30. Um, so I've kind of been doing split shift, a little here, a little there, but I'm being productive. I'm getting stuff done that really, really needs to get done, okay? And as I'm doing this, I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm doing. And thank you, Tammy, for the sprinkles. Oh, oh, awesome. We're so glad that everybody is loving their collections on um, the Foil Club. I have such a blast putting those together and coordinating everything and having an inspiration and a purpose behind the collection as I put the get them together, which I'm absolutely thrilled with June as well. I don't think I put a collection out yet that I didn't like, okay? Um, I, I know there might be a foil color in the collection that maybe had not been your favorite, but part of being then, I think, in the foil club is also being challenged to use a color that you might not have picked out for yourself to begin with. And I think it's great to have that challenge because it pushes us out of our comfort zone. Uh, so what I'm doing here right now is working on the charger that we foiled last night. And I foiled the charger as well as put two layers of final coat on it to protect it. And now I'm coming through with our cute little stencil that is called Let's Be a Star. Um, and it's wonderful to work on so many different projects. Even though it's cut on this 
cute little curve, okay? Um, it's great for flower pots. It's wonderful for flower pots. That's where, why they were designed to be on a curve. But we have discovered through the many, many years I've had these designs that um, they are great on furniture. They are great for small crafts um, and just a wonderful stencil to work with, okay? It doesn't have to be um, a flower pot. So I am stenciling on here and I'm using, I'm going back and doing like two coats, okay? Because I'm trying to make sure that I'm staying um, very light with my foil adhesive uh, so I don't run under my stencil. And you can see as I'm like wiping it onto the uncut portion because the product is kind of like building up around the edge, the outside edge of the bristles. So I'm kind of like just wiping that off and picking it back up because you just need a little bit, okay? don't need a ton, but I always feel when I'm pouncing the foil adhesive through a stencil that um, you sometimes don't get enough because you're just pouncing a light coat. Um, and that's why I like to do a couple of layers of the foil adhesive because I feel like I'm just going to end up with um, better coverage and enough tack so that um, we know that we're going to have really good stick. Okay, we're going to have really good adhesion and that we can do um, a great job with uh, our transferring of our foils. Nancy, um, I do not personally cut my stencils anymore. I used to, but I've been a stencil designer for at least the last whew, probably 25 years. So we have three or four, I don't remember how many, we've got over 300, collect, 300 different stencils in our collection. So we have a pretty large collection to choose from. And we have, uh, we added probably a dozen new designs over the last year, which is always fun to do. So I don't hand cut them by any means, okay? Uh, let's see, I gotta scroll back here for a second. Tammy said she agreed that um, the foil club is ch challenges you um, and also gives you inspiration when you get those different colors that maybe, I'm going to interpret that, Tammy, okay, that maybe just didn't speak to you at first. Um, let's see, Teresa says, has anybody come up with an organiz organizing, okay, let's see if I can say that, Teresa, organizing system to see the foils you have, a pegboard or something. Um, I will post in here later that we found these great rolling uh, drawers, okay? They're tall and skinny, and I don't remember how tall they are, but there is enough drawers, and the drawer is deep enough for your foils, and I think you can probably get five to seven maybe per drawer. Um, okay. I'm getting a warning here. I got to plug my phone in. My phone has been on all day long videotaping. Okay, so let's get some juice to it. Um, but I will post a picture of it, Teresa. Um, I think there's a lot of people that have a lot of different ways that they organize. Um, rolling back onto um, cores. I think is a perfect way to store them and what we recommend because the cores are going to keep the ro foils rolled, which I think is always the safest. And um, so that's what I recommend that you definitely, um, how you store them, no matter what you store them in, that if you can roll them on cores, that is great. Um, we have, we sell our um, cores, we all we keep all the cores, okay? So we sell the used ones for I think 50 cents and we're gonna put them on sale here um, in the next day or so because we got a really big stockpile of them and I wanna get them into your hands so that you guys have more cores to roll them on. But clear bins are wonderful. So uh, I will definitely post that for you, Teresa. Um, do you wash the foil medium with just soap and water on the stencils? Um, so the best way to get the foil adhesive back off your stencil is when you're done, 
like, like really when I'm done, I should go back to the sink with the awesome from the Dollar Tree and clean it off because it's going to clean off the, the easiest. Okay. If I don't do that, then I have a tendency just to go ahead and layer it and layer it and layer it and just let it get really gunky. And eventually it'll get thick enough on here that you can really peel it off. <laughs> so those two ways that you can do it. Okay. Um, for those, and I was really good. Um, probably the first time I whipped this stencil out because this was a brand new stencil because I couldn't find the other one. And then guess what? I found the other one. So now I got two of them going, but that's perfectly fine. Um, I was really good about taking it back to the sink and washing it immediately. And it cleaned up beautifully. Uh, now it's just kind of gunky right now. Okay. I'm just telling you, but that's, you know, that's just how I run. There's no, there is no little cleanup fairy that runs behind me and cleans up my mess every night. And I have a tendency to just be um, done. Okay. When I'm done with my lives, I'm just like, okay, wow, I'm done. I went an hour and a half last night and I was like, wow, okay, this girl has just got to go. Um, so yes, um, definitely try the awesome from the Dollar Tree is best. Kimberly's indicating uh vinyl projects as well and lots of people use ikea plastic bag holders Ooh, i gotta go to ikea i need to go there anyway but um yes clear bins work great i'll show you my little rolling cart um teresa says she uses the cores puts them in clear rubber made container but can't see what i without looking okay so uh teresa i'll definitely take a picture of this because you're gonna love it not only are they clear, okay, because this particular cart also came in colored bins, okay, and we picked the clear ones, but we have a label on the front of every drawer that says what's in it. <laughs> so you could alphabetize them, okay, if that would make it easier for you, or just figure out whatever system uh, might make uh, something easy just for you, okay. But uh, we have them, they're not they're not alphabetized they're by color so i think we start off with silver golds and we go from there so we know that if we're looking for a gold foil we just go to the drawers that have all the golds the silvers all the pewters um, like all the americana are together all the waterfalls are together the flower powers are together um, so there is definitely some coordination with all of it okay um so that definitely helps, but I'll, I'll post a picture. You might have to remind me, okay? <laughs> just saying, just saying. Um, so I am bouncing back over here. Let's see. Um, oh, Nancy, all of our foils are always rolled on a core. So they're all going to be rolled on a core like this. So it is, I don't have an empty one, I don't think. Um an empty one there. Oh, that might need to be an empty, but if you can see in there, there's a cardboard core, okay, and it's very, very stiff. So our foils come rolled on there. Now I'm gonna let you all know if you order foils by the foot, I don't care if you order one foot or five feet or ten feet, we roll all those together. We do not have those samples priced to do each sample on a separate core because they get become very heavy. So if you ordered three or four or five or six different samples and they're one or foot, one or two feet each, they're all going to be rolled on one. And there will be a label on the outside of the package that will say all foil samples and will be numbered circle and tell you how many are in there. Um, so don't think we didn't we didn't send you everything when you get one core with all your foils rolled on it. Um, so that's why we do encourage you guys to go ahead and buy more cores so that you can roll them down onto other ones as well. But I pref I recommend um, storing them this way and they're just, they're easy. Okay. It's just easy to keep neat um, because if you just are laying them flat, I don't know, I think they can get damaged easier. Okay. Because you can scratch the back of the, um, the foil. And if you do, Oh my gosh, don't throw them away. Even if that foil has a little scratch or it got crumbled or it has like a little ding or something in it, I'm telling you, that foil's still going to transfer. 
um, that might not be as perfect in that one little spot, but it's still going to be mighty, mighty fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to keep up with your questions tonight. You guys, you are killing it. Okay. You're keeping me busy and I love it. Um, okay, good. Everybody's answering everybody for me. That's awesome. Okay. So I'm going to finish this up. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm chatting and I'm not going as fast as I thought I was going to go. And that's what happens. That's why it was an hour and a half last night. Okay. Um, we are just going to be on a roll this week and it's Thursday and you guys have been super, super awesome about Sharon and Karen with the foils and making sure that we have a lot of shares every single night. So we're going to do another giveaway if everybody wants to play. So all you have to do is hit your share button and share this video on your personal page with your friends and family. And then just come back here and tell me that you did. So you can either use our little keyword of sparkle or just come back here and tell me you shared. And if we can get 25 again tonight, at least 25, okay? Show me show me how much you guys want to win something, okay? We are doing major giveaway this week, okay? Um, so far, we've given away two of the complete package of the May collection. And um, if we can get... Oh, sprinkled the addiction. Thank you, Desiree. Um, you know, if we can get like 40 shares, we might even have something a little bit different. Okay. We might even do something even different than the May collection. But let's see how well you guys want to win. Okay. So it's all up to you. All we ask is that we get the shares. And if we can get enough shares, we are more than happy to send a lucky winner a wonderful prize okay so i'm on my last repeat here i'm just making sure that i am not sticking the tape over a star that's already been stenciled okay um, so these would be a great gift okay and i could see these being something that would be that would sell well so nancy i think this could be a cool project that you could do a set of four chargers for many different holidays um, and seasons and they would probably sell really really well because you could stack them all together you could tie them up with a gorgeous ribbon and you have just saved somebody a whole lot of time and they can be ready for the next holiday Karen, Joan, Barb, Desiree, thank you. Okay, so do me a favor. If you're going to share, you got to come back here and tell us in the comments. Otherwise, we're just not going to know that you did. Okay, so definitely help us out and let us know because what we do, oh, I put a star over a star. So I have double stars. Okay, that's going to be interesting. I didn't see that one. I got double stars there, but we will just work with it. Um, so yes, I'm excited. Okay, so our foil adhesive, as always, has to tack up. And that means these projects need to sit for at least an hour. And that way they'll be ready for their next layer. Okay, so I'm just going to try to find a place, a safe place to put them. And I don't think I'm stenciling anything else. So we're going to put my brush away. I'm going to go put this charger on the drying rack because... When you have adhesive on everything, all of a sudden, it seems like it gets stuck to everything. Um, oh, Nancy, that's so awesome. I think it'd be great. Another thing that is a great gift that I know a lot of our customers did over the holidays are our coasters, okay? And they were killing it with these coasters. Um, I'm going to pull out. Oh, let's see. Where's my pile? That one just didn't make it. Okay. Jim should not reach underneath there. Okay. So these are coasters that we've done on truck tile trivets. Okay. So these are travertine tiles that I've done. I'm glad I didn't break one of these. <laughs> um, but they have been foiled and epoxied. And I did two different foils that I felt coordinated beautifully together. And I want to tell you, if you put these 
together and you do your packaging really well and you wrap these with raffi or whatever these were hot this last year okay what a great gift um the other thing is now that we found some wooden ones okay the weight difference is huge now i don't know what the price difference is because right now um the only place that sells these is Home Depot, Lowe's does not. They come in a package of nine, some odd number. I don't know why, but they come in a package of nine. Um, and I always do sets of four. You could possibly do sets of two, but I always think a set of four coasters is like the right number. You need company. Okay, if I know coasters out, it's going to be my boyfriend and I and probably another couple. Um, but these are only like five bucks for nine. I'm not, I don't know what the price is for these, the set of four. Okay. So I'm gonna look at the price, but those are really lightweight. So they also would be um, just another option. And especially if you're shipping, okay, it's going to give you something lighter to work with. Um, okay. So let's, let's get going here. Okay. We are going to work on this project. And you guys are gonna have to help me name name her. Okay, we get to, we have to name her. Okay, she's gonna get foiled, but we have to name her as well. Okay, so I had planned on uh, doing stripes on my bill, so I'm gonna cut some foil for this. And I know I have made a lot of hats. Okay, but somebody challenged me. Somebody challenged me and said, "Oh, I think you need to do a patriotic hat." So I had to whip one out, okay? So if you guys want to play along, don't forget, make sure you share this video to your personal page um, or anywhere else you want to share it so that we can possibly get at least 25 shares tonight, okay? Now I was looking at this ahead of time and I'm going to try really hard to put the red stripe straight down the metal, okay? Hi, Dina. <laughs> yes, I've been killing on these hats, girl. You got to see. I don't know if you saw um, I add it. I add it, Dina, to two of them, okay? So I got a little bling on this one here. So I added stencil. And then I did this one with Faith, okay? I thought that came out so cute. So these are getting almost done. We're going to have river hats, girl. Um <laughs> But I thought we had had a patriotic one. But I'm going to try to get the red stripe down the middle because when I was looking at this, I believe it was going to give me, and I'm hoping I position this really super well, I thought it was going to give me the silver or blue at the edge, okay? So that was my objective. And I found that it's best to pull it up. I don't know if I pulled this up high enough. Pull it up a little bit higher so that when you wrap to the sides, it gets all the way to the outside of the bill, okay? Um, so, okay, does the, okay, so Nancy is asking, does the final coat on top of the hat make it stiffer? Um, I don't really think it did. Okay, I put final coat over the entire hat as well, okay? So we're gonna have to be a little careful here because I do have stars on the hat that I do not want this foil to get onto. So I'm gonna cut off my excess, okay? Just so I do not get that where I don't want it. Probably would have been better to not foil the hat already, okay, the, the hat part, but I'm making this work. So we're going to get busy and get some scrubbing done on this. And I'm definitely going to have <laughs> my 4th of July, my Memorial Day hat. Okay, we're just going to be all patriotic this summer. There is no doubt about that. Um... Uh, Nancy, I think there's just many different options, okay? So I put the final coat down first because I was just wanting to experiment with how well the foils transfer um, 
with the final count. We forgot to turn on the do not disturb. She's not supposed to call me again tonight. Okay, are we back? Okay, there we are. Sorry, guys. My daughter thinks she needs to call me tonight, but I just hit the do not disturb button. Okay, sorry. Um, she should really check her um, Facebook feed before she calls me and knows that I'm on a live. <laughs> okay, so I need to match up here a little bit. I cut this too short. Okay, so I'm going to try to match my stripes up as I finish out this one little area. Okay. Um, so Nancy, a couple things. I know that when we, I did an experiment the other day, um, we discovered through everybody watching and paying attention that when I transferred this leopard foil over final coat, it came out shinier. Okay. So we ended up with a shinier release and some people are going to love that. Some people might not care, but it did give us, um, a, I don't want to say any more coverage, but the foils became shinier because it was a sealed surface and allowed the release to be at its best. So that was the one thing that we definitely determined that happened because of final coat. And, you know, as far as protecting them, we're telling everybody they cannot be washed, okay, in a washer. The best that you're going to be able to do is um, basically give them a spit shine, okay, like a sponge bath. But the more you protect them, the uh, better off they will be for anybody that's purchasing. So I really think if you're going to sell them, you need to... Um, put some disclaimers on there or figure out if you're going to put some kind of waterproofing um, or weatherproofing, whatever it is on top of it. I think there's some Scotch guard products out there that would work well, but um, you're going to need to do something, but I'm definitely going to let anybody know if I end up selling it, if I just, um, I'm giving them away that they're really not meant to, um, they're really not meant to be washed, okay? So we are going to give this one a really, really good scrub because it's not wanting to transfer as well as I hoped, okay? And this really puts out a good um, thing about not every foil transfers the same, okay? So remember that when you're picking your different foils, and you're doing your projects and especially because we're on fabric and uh, we're not using a uh, fabric textile glue we're just using my regular glue that um, this is going to come out okay but it's not coming out as strong as i would have liked okay and it is possibly just the foil not liking the surface but let's go ahead and give it another little try okay um I'm really good at testing everything. So we're going to heat this up and see if we get a little bit better um, transfer after we heat it up with a blow dryer, okay? Foils love warmth. So sometimes if you're not getting as full of a release or as much of a release as you would like, Get them warm, okay? Getting them warm is going to give you your best. And, oh, that did. That definitely did help, okay? And I'm just going to get in here. If I get in here with my fingernails, I get in here with everything, guys. There is not much that I am not willing to try when I'm looking to get as much release as I possibly can. So I'm going for my stiff toothbrush. We're going to heat them up some more. Oh, Carrie, don't worry. We're just kind of finishing up a lot of the things that we worked on last night, okay? And we've got a foil that is a little bit more temperamental today. It doesn't like my surface. And I am trying to scrub 
and get the best release I can with this stripe, okay? But that's still going to come out super cool, okay? Like I said, I'm going to get my fingernails out. I've got my big, big scrubber. And yeah, I'm putting some I'm putting some elbow grease into this because I just want it to release the best it can. And where you have stitching, you're always going to have a little bit more effort to get that on there, okay? Around the edge, if the scrub brush isn't getting there, Fingernails work really good. And I think we're pretty good. Okay, I'm going to try to match up this a little bit more. And just get a little bit more of that blue. Nice thing about a pattern like this, you can kind of get things lined back up. Okay, I'm going to try that. That actually came out a little bit better with the second layer. Okay, let's see if I can line up that blue stripe and get a little bit more coverage. Because anywhere that there is still, ooh, that is working pretty good, okay. Anywhere there's still adhesive, you still should be able to get some release, okay. Kind of doing almost like a second layer here. And that is coming off and giving me a little bit more coverage. So that's pretty cool. All of this is experimenting, okay. There is no tried true <laughs> um, application. Every hat I've done, I feel, has been just an experiment to see what we're going to get, how it's going to work, how great they're going to work or not work. Okay. Uh, that, that helped a little bit on the blue where it didn't transfer really well. So I'm going to try if I can do the blue one over here again as well. And it's really easy to line it back up. Okay, we got stripes. <laughs> so we learn every we learn something new. I want to tell you almost every single time I do foils. There is there's a lot of things that we teach, a lot of things that we share with you, and we do share everything. Gosh, that really did come out pretty darn good. Um, we share everything that we do. We share as much instruction, giving you as many great ways to create fabulous projects. But I'm going to tell you, not everything always goes right, okay? Um, and I tried to stress this, that there's nothing perfect about foils to start with. And you're always going to have a little bit of the unknown going into a project that is unique as doing a baseball cap, okay, because we don't have any, uh, a whole lot of tried and true um, practices. We are just experimenting, playing, and basically holding our fingers crossed and hoping that it comes out as great as we anticipated, okay? Um, so we retry things, we add things, we, we keep finding new ways to do things, and we've also relied on many of you that have been experimenting. Okay, so I'm going to use the silver holograph on the stars because I thought that would be super pretty, okay? So I'm going to just go ahead and use the silver on the hat part because I randomly stenciled my stars on there last night. And Teresa, my head form is working super great, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you for my gift, okay? This is lovely, okay? This is a great, great gift. Um, thank you again. And y'all, we're going to have to name this, this head form, okay? So help me. Help me start choosing some names for this. But look. How cute that is going to turn out. Okay, now I only put the stars on the front two panels to start with, okay? I figured I could always add more if I want it. And I'm just using up some of my scrap foil to um, stencil those with. 
this was the foil that I used last night to do the word home. Okay. Yes, I need to weight her down. Okay. She needs she needs a paperweight or something. And okay, we're almost almost done with this one. So I need to get a nice heavy base. Okay, we're just going to let her fall for right now. <laughs> so I need a heavy base to keep her from moving around too much. But that is way, way better than my pumpkin, okay? Way better than the pumpkin. But cute, 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 you guys. Look how fun. Now, you can go a little bit further. Um, and grab yourself some little crystals and you could put one either in the middle of the star or you could put little crystals at the points of all the stars. You could bling out any way you want it to. Okay, I still think it needs to have maybe the stars all the way around. Okay, so I'll have to finish that up, but super, super cute. How fun is that gonna be? Hetty. <laughs> okay, we got one name. We got somebody calling it Hetty. That's cute. Um, but yes, I am so excited about these. Um, fun, fun project, you guys. Okay, so there's a couple of other things that I started and I never got to them last night. But I wanted to show you this because I think it's so important that we always have um, a gift bag around the house. And these were just some really super simple ones that I did, okay? So here I did, I stenciled the stars on here already and it's all ready to go. Um, and I used that light, same star stencil, okay? I use it a ton. And then here, I just painted stripes. All I did was freehand stripes on here with the foil adhesive. And this one, I freehand it some polka dots. So how fun are these? And you don't even have to have a stencil, you just play and do something creative. Um, so I thought it would be just a hoot to do a couple of these, okay? Um, let's see, I've got to just look here. Linda says she just joined. Hattie, okay, that's cute. Um, can you use a metal wig pins to secure the hat to the head form? Oh, possibly. Any wig store would also have a wig form holder to the secure to a table's hands free. Oh, nice. Abigail. <laughs> well, you know what? I could foil her in Abigail and call her Abigail, couldn't I? Uh, she might She might end up being Abigail. Um, wig form holder was supposed to say, okay, no problem. Hey, I tried to read between the lines, okay? Um, so I thought it would be fun to work on this one, okay? Because we have to have something fun to give one of these hats away in. Okay, sorry guys, I had to take a little drink there. Okay, we have cobalt blue. We have, oh, blue and silver are always so stunning together. I think maybe we might do these too. Uh, I'm just kind of looking at what I had here. Oh, I have a whole roll of, oh, these are the glitter stars. Okay, which ones do I have? Oh, this one here is the one I want to do on the inside of uh, the hat that I just finished. This is our 3D stars. Do you guys see how awesome that one is? The stars look like they are literally floating from the foil, okay? It's called 3D stars. It comes in silver and gold, but I thought this would be unbelievable on the bottom side of the bill. So I'm going to save that for that. Um... I think I want blue and silver. And maybe I'll throw in a, a rat or two, okay? Uh, let's see, we don't need a lot of foil, so let's cut something off here. Okay, I don't know how we're doing tonight, you guys, but I don't think we're doing super good on our, our, our sharing tonight, which is okay, we don't have to do a giveaway. We've done at least two this week, possibly three. We've done an awful lot. Okay, so when you're doing something like this, I'll have a tendency to go ahead and cut my foil down and smaller little pieces that I can control because I want to choose and pick where my color goes, okay? I don't want to just lay this down and all of a sudden have all of them blue or all of them silver. So cut smaller little pieces and um, 
that way you can place where they're going. Okay, so this is the cobalt blue. This color here was in, this one is in the May collection, okay? Uh, so anybody that won the May collection this week is going to have these colors and um, be able to do something like this, but I just think this is gonna be super cute. So you could come back and freehand on here if you want. Uh, there's just, there's so many, so many options of how we can embellish, adorn, continue to create, um, and just have some lot of fun. Okay, I'm gonna go click over to another tab here because I wanna see where we are on our shares tonight. And uh, we are in a couple of different groups. So I wanna make sure I'm seeing all of the comments as well. I don't think I'm seeing all of them. Oops, where are my comments? Oh my gosh. Oh, broadcast, create, okay, here, inner studio. Okay, it kicked me out of the studio. I gotta go back in so I can see what's going on. Um, so it's letting me back in the studio, okay? I think I accidentally, up oh, there we go. So let's enter the studio. And, okay, perfect. Woo! Oh, we got some more sprinkling. Thank you guys, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, okay, so let me go see where we are on shares. And oh, we're at nine. Okay, so we're not doing too bad, okay? We're doing better than I thought. Um, we only need 25, okay? That's all it takes to have a winner around here, which I think is so doable uh, and easy to achieve. Okay, we're going to have to do a couple of these next to each other and just scatter. And if you didn't want to scatter a couple of different colors, you could just lay a piece of foil over everything that you've done. And... Um, stencil or foil stencil foil all of them at one time okay i'm just rant being more random in my placement because i want to do two different color stars as well um okay there was another group i want to go hang out in for a second so let's go to foil everything for a second and see if i'm just not seeing all those comments we're streaming in a couple of different places we do that every once in a while where we stream into a couple different groups so that we can reach more of our members, especially with our um, foil club. We love getting to see you guys over here and getting a chance to see who's made it. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of people that are actually watching from there as well. Awesome. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's get that refreshed. Okay, guys, questions for me. Keep me going here. Because as soon as I'm done with this, I think we're going to, oh, I don't know. I want to ask you guys, what do you want to see, okay? Um, I'm going to give you a couple of choices of what I can finish out the night with. And then you can let me know um, which projects you want to see. So thank you guys for the shares. That's so appreciated. Okay, let's get our silver foil out. Let's see how much I can use on my scrap and get rid of the scraps. Some people that love our scraps are going, no, no, don't use all your scraps. <laughs> um, so if you don't know about this, okay, if you place an order, okay, and the only place you can ask for this is on an order, okay, there's no other way, place to ask, there's no other way to get it, is if you have an order in with us, there is a place on the order form to write us a note. And in the note, if you say, please include scraps, foil scraps, we will add scraps to your order as long as we have them. Now, as much foiling as I do around here, okay, I normally have scraps to share amongst our orders. If we run out, I normally don't talk about it for a while, okay, so that we're just like, oh, I think we need to be quiet. We don't have any scraps left to share. <laughs> um, but we have a good bucket, as my team had told me, that they're like, hey, we haven't seen a lot of people asking for scraps. I'm like, oh, I guess we need to remind them the bucket's full, okay? So just put it in the notes. Tell me you want me to add scraps to your order and we will always do the best we can 
Oh my gosh, you guys, look how fun this is coming out. Oh, that is super cute for a simple little project, okay? Just simple. But if you have kiddos um, at home and looking for a fun craft to do with them, if you've got grand kiddos, this would be so great. This is a very doable project for a young kid. And they could do something that would just make themselves feel so cool. And that they did this on their own with just a little bit of help, okay? But what a fun afternoon. It doesn't even have to be with your kiddos. Oh my gosh. Grab your girlfriends, okay? And have a foiling party night. Um, instead of inviting them over for Bunko, invite them over for a foil party. Tell everybody to bring some gift bags, bring um, a, a baseball cap, and a bottle of wine. <laughs> and have a foil party, okay? I think that would be such a great idea. But you guys, I'm in love with this. How simple. How simple, okay? Um, when I was doing the bag, it was three repeats of the stencil design that went across the bag using that same let's be a star stencil, okay, that I repeat it so it went like three times, which didn't take really any time at all. And also a really cool thing to know is if you are going to do some kind of a little fun uh, foiling party with your girlfriends, if you do the hats first and prep those, okay, get your foil adhesive down and put those aside, you can do your gift bags and the foil adhesive normally dries on here within about 15 or 20 minutes because it's just a craft bag. So it'll dry fast enough within 15, maybe 30 minutes. You can foil your gift bags at least um, while you're sipping your wine and then move on to your hat. Okay, so, you know, hanging out for a couple hours with your girls, um, you could definitely do some fun projects. Okay, I'm going to put my bags aside, but I wanted to show you how sweet those were and just give you some more inspiration to create some fun projects. Um, but those would be great. Okay. I'm going to give you guys um, a couple of choices here. Okay. I have this hat that I've stenciled with and I think I decided that we're going to put, I think, okay. I think I'm going to put this foil on it. This is Zoe's, Zoe's flowers. It's new. Um, I know that whatever I decided it was back here. Now I'm trying to, uh, now I'm backtracking. Which one do I want? Okay. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to choose what I want to do. Um, oh, Yaganda, the bags are so much fun. Absolutely so much fun. Okay. I just don't think you can ever go wrong. Okay, but I also could do the leopard, okay? Because I was thinking those two would look good together. Um, I'm also going to um, foil, I think I want to foil adhesive the whole entire hat. I have put down final coat so that I could go ahead and put foil adhesive on the entire hat. Um, and get that ready to go. But I wanted to do this part first because I was afraid of having all that sticky at once. It kind of got crazy on that other hat. Um, okay, so let's give me, let's figure out. I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> Desiree is saying the groovy. I don't know if I've got the groovy back here. Um, so let's see trying to think. I was trying to stay more into our colors of our last collection of foils and just work within that collection, but my heart always goes animal print, animal print, animal print. Um, ooh, the other thing is pink leopard would look stunning on black as well. Um, I've got the blue leopard once. And I don't know if I've got any other leopard back here. I should. I should have all of them. Okay, the girls get mad at me because I take all their foils that they cut off of all day long. And I steal them and I bring them back here. And then they're always looking for them. Okay. 
I just put the new silver one on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just, I'm almost thinking I want to save this though for this part because I know I'm going to lose so much of the pattern on just the, the flowers. So I'm thinking I might go either pink, uh, pink leopard or silver leopard. Oh, and then it's black. Okay, that's another thing I want to maybe avoid. I don't know if I want to do the black on the black. Um, and the reason is because you sometimes lose some of the design when you have black on black, okay? Because you're going to have that black hit the edge a little bit. And there are times we lose a little bit. So now I'm now second guessing myself. Okay, here's a core. Um, that foil just fell off of it. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Let's go look in the other box. Okay. We might, we might just go out of our comfort zone. Okay. And do something that um, I wasn't thinking about, but I want to stay away from black. All of a sudden, I decided I definitely want to stay away from black. Because the black is going to get absorbed into the black. Okay. But another cool one that I thought about using um, where was this one? Uh, was on this? I did think about using, um, and I'm probably going to put it on a different color, is the camo. Okay, I got the camo because the camo is partially clear. So whatever color we put this on, you're going to be able to see through it. Okay, so see how that'll transfer? You'll be able to see whatever color is already the hat. So I thought this would be really cool on um, one of the colored ones as well and do a little camo, okay? Um, I've got this, this one has the flower power on the inside, uh, but yeah, we'll have to think about that for another one. Okay, so I've got silver koi cheetah, and I also found there is, okay, we're just gonna go for this one. I have groovy kaleidoscope back here, so let's just go for groovy, okay? Let's do one flower at a time and just go for it. Desiree, we're going to take your inspiration and just see what we end up with. So I'm going to have to redesign my whole thought process because this was not what I was going for for the top of this hat. Okay, but look. Oh, look how well that transferred with that black background. Whoo, that is hot. Okay, that is super, super hot. Um, and let's go, let's go this way. Okay. That is definitely popping off of that black background and look how awesome this foil transferred. Okay. So when you're doing an awkward project as a hat can be, make sure that you do yourself a favor and pick a foil that is super easy release, okay? Ah. Nice choice. Look how fun that is, okay? And we might not do a whole lot more. I might just go ahead and maybe just do another flower at the top and just let that be, or I could just let it be as is and just stay on the um the bill of the hat maybe we'll do the hole underneath with kaleidoscope Woo! that is just awesome okay um we'll have to think about that we could pick up the pink some pink leopard underneath make it kind of fun and all girly 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 but um we'll have to, we'll have to think about that but beautiful oh my gosh yes it stands out those colors are so stunning and the transfer is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But isn't that fun? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to look at where are we at? Okay. Yeah. We have been on here for over an hour again. Um, yes. <laughs> Black is really good for light colors. Oh, you know what I could possibly do? I could do another one of our... Um, stencils or something on here okay with the word faith or grace um something like that 
Um, or I could even do like the word create maybe. That would be really fun. So I think maybe I'm going to get another word that we can put on here and do that as well. Um, and that would be another fun hat just to just have something else on there. Okay, guys. I think I think that's going to be done for tonight. Um, as always, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for participating with me and um, giving me your comments, questions, advice, um, guidance. Um, I love this community. You guys are always so wonderful to hang out with. Um, Okay, I'm going to call it quits, but I got a feeling we're going to be back tomorrow night because I'm going to try to break out the shoes, okay? Oh, you know what? Let's have two minutes. I can be done with this in two minutes, okay? Let's just put the camera back down, okay? We've got two minutes here. This will be super easy. Oh, do the word groovy. <laughs> well, we could do that. There's, I'm just telling you guys, there's a million options. <laughs> okay, we're just going to do my charger really quick. And just see how super cool my stars are going to come out. But these are going to be so wonderful. Okay, I'm getting in the spot where I got double stars, so it's going to be interesting how that one looks, okay? And I think, oh, my stencil was putting down a little extra foil adhesive in some spots. So I'm going to even have some shadow, okay? So make sure maybe you don't use your stencil as quick as I was using it. Uh, because I'm getting a little bit of, there was foil adhesive maybe that got onto the back of the stencil. And it put some foil adhesive where I don't really want it. Oh yeah, it sure did. Okay, we might have to do a little bit of repair or come in here and do some embellishing. Uh, okay, I'm glad I'm doing this before you guys are, okay? Okay. Um, so we're going to have to slow down on my stenciling technique. I didn't bleed underneath, but it picked up on the back of the stencil. Okay. Well, interesting to find that out. <laughs> hey, we always say nothing is perfect around here. Okay. Beautiful things are not perfect, so it's okay. And I think what happened when I was laying the stencil down and repositioning it, that's what my, my problem was. So when you go to reposition that stencil, you want to be really careful. Just lay that thing down and don't move it around because you could have a little bit of foil adhesive that has um, gone through. I'm running out of room here. Gone, not so much through the stencil, but as you keep re repositioning, there's um, a little bit that will build up on the inside edge of the design. And I put it down and then moved it, and that's what happened, okay? Uh, so at least I'm figuring out what I did. Um, yes, Nora, it's called Let's Be a Star. Um, and it's like $10, okay? It's a great little price, um, but you can pick one of those up very easily and quick. Um, so if you go to the website, I'm going to tell you my little trick that I always do. Um, go to the website, and at the very, very top left-hand corner, I mean, it's really at the top, there is a box. It says search box. And type the word star in there, and I'll tell you, almost everything that has stars is going to pop up. And it, that way you can find it easily instead of going to the stencil section and then searching and searching and searching and searching and searching. Okay, so I ended up with a couple of spots. I'm just going to show you, so I'm always very transparent here, where I have a little few areas where I had moved the stencil around and got a little bit of foil adhesive that ended up on the background. Um, so there's a couple of areas that have um, a little double vision star going, but the rest of it came out pretty clean, okay? And I don't know if I did not double these. Let's, let's try to get those a little bit better. Those don't seem like they came out. 
that. I just maybe need to scrub a little harder. Get those on there a little bit better. So I could go through with um, a paint marker, okay? And I could do some embellishing to incorporate my um, little oops areas and make it just seem like they were all on purpose, okay? Or I can just get over myself, get out of my way, and just move forward, okay? Um, I could also come through and make some, like, la di da dots, okay? And just distract from the stars or from the, the little blue in the background. Uh, if I'm really, really picky about it, I could get out some um, of our... I could get out some of the pearl white probably and do a little bit of repair as well. So it just kind of depends on how far I want to go on to the repairing of it. Uh, on this right here, I mean, once it has adhered, okay, Nancy, I'm just going to see if I can scratch some of that off, but it pretty much is there. Um, whatever I do, I'm probably going to damage, okay? Let's let's try a couple of things. This is always an interesting thing to do, okay? It's sealed, okay? So there is um, there's two coats of final coat down, and I'm just going to try, what am I going to try? Let's try uh, a little bit of, oops, that one's brand new. Let's see if I got some rubbing alcohol out here. Let's try a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and see what happens. Now that I said that, we'll see if we can find a Q-tip anymore. Oh my gosh. I need somebody to come and organize all my shelves again. I just can't find anything. Okay, so I'm going to, no Q-tip. We're just going to use um, my paper towel here, okay? And we're just going to see, oh. disappearing. It's a little bit of rubbing alcohol, 91%. And it's coming off, but that is because I have final coat, okay? I have final coat down there. A Q-tip I think would be much better because I'd be able to control how well it is getting to those edges. Oh my gosh, look at you guys. For those that stayed, you got bonus, okay? This is like bonus video here. Look what we discovered. Because I truly did not know what the answer was going to be. So, Nancy, thank you for chiming in and saying, can we take it off, okay? But remember, I had a top coat down first that was protecting the surface. Um, so, I am able to remove almost all of that. My boo-boos are going away. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. So look at that. I learned something tonight. I learned a couple of things. <laughs> Don't reposition your stencil too many times. And if you do, you can pretty much clean up almost all of that. So make sure that you, I don't know what else will. I don't know if regular alcohol will do it or if it's only going to come off with the 91% isopropyl. Okay, so that you see what I've got here. Okay, um, be careful. I am kind of um, dinging down a little bit. Don't rub too, too much. Um, but I think once I clear coat over everything, whatever I have like change the sheen of the um, pearl, I think I'll be able to clean that up, okay? Or make it even back out. But that looks great. Um, Nancy, these are gonna be cleared with Final Coat or our Golden Paintworks or whichever top coat you want. They are a charger. They're meant to go under your dinner plate. So you are just going to use a wet rag and clean them off and put them away. Again, I would have a disclaimer. They cannot go through your dishwasher. They are not going to be durable in that respect. They are more for decor and fun. But, oh, look at that. I am so glad you said that, Nancy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We all learned something tonight. 
and I love it. I love it when I learn something because I can pass that on to all the rest of you. Okay, I am going to call it quits, you guys. You have a wonderful, blessed night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.